Hey, what's up? This is my solo leveling spec for Demon Hunter. This is uh, a lot of my abilities on here are pretty low level. There's only three that are above level 40, so you can use this for most of the game and it works really well. It takes advantage of uh, what our class is all about, which is kiting, taking stuff out from a distance, and uh, laying traps. So let's start with Entangling Shot. I use Chain Gang, which you unlock at level 9, so you can use this you know, right from the get-go. Takes out Chain Gang and uh, hits up to 4 targets. This is great for slowing down you know, 4 targets, multiple targets, and keeping them away from you. I'm using Elemental Arrow Ball Lightning. This ability is awesome. does lots of damage. Great for pumping these into you know packs of enemies that you've slowed down. You unlock this at uh, level 24. Another low level ability that's really good. Caltrops Hook Spines. First rune you unlock. Level 12. Increase slowing amount to 80%. Just helps with kiting. Smoke Screen. Really important for staying alive. I'm using Lingering Fog which uh, increases the duration to 1.5 seconds. And this is unlocked at level 23. Uh, this, in conjunction with Preparation Focus Mind, is really important. This is how you stay alive and get out of tight spots. Focus Mind is unlocked at level 44. This is one of the higher level uh, runes that you have to unlock. And this, uh, this uh, changes the, the mechanics on preparation. Instead of instantly restoring discipline, you gain 45 discipline over 15 seconds instead of restoring immediately. So I only have 30 discipline. So this restores 45 discipline over 15 seconds. That means I can use, if used correctly, I can use lots of uh, smoke screens and really stay out of trouble and really up my survivability. Focus Mind unlocked at 44. You can use Battle Scars, which is unlocked at 35 until you get that. Also, if you're having a hard time using Focus Mine, at first you can just use Battle Scars, which heals you for 60%, which is nice. And it's a little, it's more straightforward, so it's a little easier to use. But uh, I recommend uh, figuring out how to use Focus Mine properly with Smoke Screen. And uh, I'm using Spike Trap with Scatter, and this is another high level. This is unlocked at 55. You throw three traps at once, which is awesome for the same price as one. 30 Hatred, you get three traps. So this is uh, when you. Uh, this is really good. I noticed against the champions and uniques when they're chasing you around everywhere. You just run from them, throw down traps, and kite them over them, and eventually they'll die. It's a real safe way to do it. Also, this is cool too. Uh, when you kill stuff with this, you know they explode. Looks really cool. And I like to throw down traps for enemies who try to sneak up on you, like burrow underground or invisible. Throw these down, just stand on top of it. They pop up right next to you and explode. You can use long fuse, uh, which is unlocked at 39 until you get to until you unlock this at 55. It takes longer to arm the trap, but it does lots of damage. Alright, I'm using Steady Aim, Sharpshooter, and Archery for extra damage. These are all really solid. There's certain situations where you might not want to use Steady Aim for the most part. You're going to be kiting and keeping enemies away from you. And Steady Aim is going to come into effect. Sharpshooter is unlocked to level 50. And so you unlock this, I would use Vengeance, which helps you get your hatred and discipline back from health files. And I take the Templar with me. He works well with our class since we're a ranged DPS class. Uh, he is basically a tank and rushes in, tanks everything. And I have him pretty much heal spec where you can have him heal, loyalty, and charge, and guardian. He basically will protect me and heal me. Help me stay alive. Alright, I hope this guide helps you out and have a video uh, just me showing off some of the mechanics after this. Alright, see you later.